Hello and welcome back to Forecasting with Financial GPS. In today's video, we will be working in the Excel environment and see how the Goal Seeker function can help us forecast. So the Goal Seek Excel function is a method of solving for a desired output by changing an assumption that drives it. This function essentially uses a trial and error approach to back solving the problem by plugging in guesses until it arrives at the answer. And with that in mind, let's just say you recently had a conversation with a client and they ask one of the tough questions. How do I increase my net income? Well, with Goal Seeker from Excel, we can help answer that question. So let's pull some information from a PL. Have a revenue. Cost of goods sold. Gross profit. Operating expenses. So it's best to look at these on a percentage basis and the important part to goal seek is that we sort of have to take a step back and come up with some functions to calculate the revenue. And revenue is basically a function of two important variables, which is hours and rates. In order to use Goal Seek properly, we cannot look at the end result, which is revenue. We have to go through the components of, rev of what revenue is. So let's just go ahead and just plug in some numbers. 300 hours, $100, and we'll do 100% for revenue, 45% with cost of goods, and 30% operating expenses. So for the revenue, it's hours. Multiply that by the rate. We'll hit the enter, equal 30,000. Cost of goods is basically 45% of the revenue. So we're going to go ahead, equals, the revenue times 45%, we get 13,500. Now for the gross profit, it's going to be revenue, subtract the cost of goods, and you get that. And for the percentage, we're going to take our gross profit to, oops, equals gross profit, divide that by our revenue. Change this to a percentage. There we go. And to get our operating expenses, we're going to go ahead and take our 30% and multiply that by our revenue, 9,000. And for our net profit, we're going to take the gross profit, subtract that with our operating expenses. And for the percent net profit, divide that by our revenue. So to really quickly just sum up what we just did, we have our PL right here. And in order to use this goal seek function, we would basically have to make revenue a calculation or formula based off of some other variables. Two variables that we chose were the hours and the rates, because these are the two things we can do to increase revenue. We either can charge more or work more hours. Let's say our client wanted to include that 
their goal was at least 12,500. How can we make that happen? Well, for just showing you the example sake, I'm just going to copy here. Just create another sheet so you can differentiate it later on. I'll call this one rates. So we're going to go up here to data, click on data. And then goal seek is often referred to as a what if analysis. So towards the right here, you're going to see that and we're going to click down and click on goal seek. A little small window is going to pop up. This first one here set cell. It, it's asking what cell are you trying to change? And of course, we're trying to change this 7,500 to the value 12,500. And what cell are you trying to change? And we can either do rates or hours. And I'm going to do rates first. Click OK. OK again. And you'll see here that we're going to have to add an additional 66 more per hour in order to get to our 12,500. And it's understandable that this may not be the most feasible or realistic decision to make. So let's run the goal seek again. I'm gonna go ahead, add another sheet. We'll do hours this time. Copy this. Is it again? It's data. What if analysis? Go see. So the difference this time is that we're going to change hours instead. So make sure you don't click on rate. We're going to keep it the same. So set cell. This one. Value twelve thousand five hundred, and click hours. Hit okay. Okay again. And you're going to see that we're going to have to work an additional 200 more hours in order to get there. So the a follow-up question to all this is probably, what if we change both variables, both rate and hours, to see what combination of these two factors to get the same profit? So with, with Goal Seek, we answered questions like, what amount do I need to charge given we're working 300, 300 hours a cycle? And what if we didn't want to add any more hours? What amount do we charge in order to net the 12,500 given the 45% cost of goods sold and 30% operation margin? We see that the Goal Seek did the math for us and we saw a few changes here in the net profit that went from 7,500 to 12,500. Also the rate in order to get the 12,500, we had to charge the 66 and for the hours, it would be the additional 200. So a follow-up question to all this is probably, what if we change both variables, the rate and the hours to see what combination of two factors to get to the same profit? And unfortunately, we're going to stop here. And if you want the answer to that question, you're going to have to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to our next video. Thanks for watching.